I guess it's a fact of life that uh, this is how some people made their living. Sonny Hostin, who I think is truly the nastiest woman on television and a genuine racist and not that bright, despite her law degree and everything else, uh, she found out a little bit, you know these TV shows where they tell you a little bit about your family history and your ancestry? She found out some stuff about her ancestors that, uh, well, take a look. Wow. I'm 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 in a little bit in shock. I I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was. Uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how are you feeling, my friend? Um, I just um, I think it's actually pretty interesting that um, my husband and I have shared roots. Yeah. So I I do appreciate that, um, and I think it's great for our children. Mm -hmm to know this information. Um, I guess it's a fact of life that uh, this is how some people made their living on the backs of others. Gad, her genealogy test came back negative. Um, yeah, she's uh, related to slaveholders. What are we gonna do? Should Whoopi flog her on the show? What, sit on her? What do we do? What do we do? Well, in a sense, let's link it back to the earlier uh, conversation on the forensic accounting of who owns which land. Mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. can't move forward in life by always looking back. In the exact same way, it seems amazing to me that she could feel either <laughs> relief that she doesn't have slave owners or, right. or hurt that her past does have slave owners because that presumes that there is intergenerational guilt that is passed on, which is such a grotesque idea. So in a sane world, it would simply not matter in the least bit one way or the other what her genealogy was. But when you play the identity politics uh, yeah. game, then of course it becomes a jarring reality. Carol, isn't yeah. it just a chef's kiss? Mwah. It's just so beautiful for everything this woman represents. And then the way you see, you can sort of see her ideology crumbling right in front of her. We're gonna show you another clip on the other side, but it's it just in and of itself, it's just beautiful. That uh, Gad is completely right. <clears throat> it's, the whole thing is it's her game that she just lost right. at. She set up the rules. She made this game for the rest of us. And now she's losing at it. Of course it doesn't matter who your ancestors were. Of course it doesn't matter what they did or what they didn't do. You're your own person. But no, under this leftist ideology that she pushes, you're responsible for all of it. And not only them, you're responsible for everybody ever who ever looked like you. So the idea that she got caught up in her own thing, 